Hello, this is Sue's Journal Adventures, part three, because my lovely phone cut me off and told me that my iPhone was full. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Uh, right, I'm back with this little project that's took way longer than it was supposed to. But um, I don't think I've done too much since it cut me off. I think when it cut me off, I think I was just in the middle of doing this pocket. So all that is, is a bit of torn book page and stamped butterflies and inked. And I've just put a bit of journal card and one of these things that I got recently from AliExpress that I forgot I had and then I saw them and thought, yay, use them. Um, and I've dug out some little bits. I've got loads of strips on my desk. I have actually just tidied my desk a little bit. But I found some little things that um, I might use. Where did that just go? I saw you. You were there. Oh, you're there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we've got this one. We've got this one. Look at the state of that. We need to do some kind of cool with that one. Oh, oh, okay. I've just seen something. Um, I've got this as well, which came on some stickers. A packet of stickers. So... Oh, number three. Um, yeah, you can do stuff with them. But I've just, well, I thought for this page, I might use some, it's a bit wonky though, I've just torn it um, because there was a weird bit and I didn't like it. I've caught the edges of some of these papers when I've been stamping other things, but I don't actually mind that because it's meant to look all grungy and funky i would like that maybe that little journal card just right at the back just can't really fit it on any other pages so what the heck am i doing <laughs> i don't know do i want a belly band um have we got a belly band on any of the others i don't think we have have we um we might have a belly band i don't like that funny edge though um book page belly band and this is nice because i think it's a, a couple of pages glued together so it's quite strong what does that say party time i don't want party time um so i've just pulled some bits out of here because i've been that's pretty don't know if you can see it um i've been making um some no so a no so ruffle for the edge of the page so i don't think that can go on this one because yeah it's a bit too wide um oh, if it was thinner and it does go thin in one part but then it goes thick again um you, i could have put it down there on that horrible bit couldn't i um, all I've done with this is, you know, all these scraps that we have, I just glue some together, make a big long train of them and then just fold them, just fold them into ruffles. Um, you don't have to sew them, you can sew them, you can hand sew them, you can machi machine sew them, but you don't have to. You can just stick stickers down the middle, lace down the middle, ribbon down the middle. If you've got out, you don't really use much. Um, if you've got them strings of pearls, you can put them down the middle, bits of fabric, whatever it is you want to just hold it together. That little middle bit, I kind of wish I hadn't stuck them together now because that's ideal for that bit, isn't it? Anyway, stop waffling, get on with what you're doing because you just know you're going to run out of time. Right, so I had some, I had some things to put in pockets. Let's make, shall we make a belly band on here? Um, it's awfully boring, but look, I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can do something with it, and I need to find some bits, which I meant to do before I came on camera, was to find some bits to stuff in the pockets and behind the belly bands and stuff. Right, I'm just gonna. Um, I'm gonna take that. I still can't find my um, stamping block, you know. I have no idea where that's gone. Unless it's under here. Hiding. No, it's not. I really, really, really don't know where that is. I've got this one. I'll use that. It's got a weird bit of dried up glue on it, but the other side's fine. <laughs> use the other side. 
I just want to make some bits and get this finished because this project was not meant to be as long as it is. Oh, dear me, obviously not sticky on the back, are you? Okay, we'll just pop you there and then press you down with that. Yeah, I don't know where that stamping block's gone. It may just have disappeared forever. <laughs> Who knows? Right, it's like a tickety kind of um, thing. Um, I think I feel like I need some else. I definitely need these edges doing. So they look like they're meant to be torn, you know, and not just, I've just randomly ripped it. Even though I have just randomly ripped it because there was a wonky piece on there that were getting on my nerves. But anyway, <laughs> um, I, I kind of sort of feel like I want a background on here as well. Mm, but where's that thing gone? Where's that thing gone I've just made? What's that? <laughs> yeah, I could have cut the edges or done something. I feel like it needs something and I don't quite know what that something is. Mm, no, maybe one of them. Maybe. Does that look cool through the... I can't even see for the cradle. Yeah, that looks not bad. I don't want to cover the numbers up though. Maybe it's blue. I want black. Um, I'll just make a decision so when I up about it. Um, okay, I'll make a decision. I'll make a decision and I'll make it black. Because <laughs> I want it black and it's blue. Oh, come back over here. You can sort of still tell it's blue, but never mind. It doesn't matter. It just looks less blue now. Right, there we go. Put that with that so because Yeah, I just had to tidy my desk because it was an absolute incredible mess. I mean, I actually couldn't cope with it how it was. So, so yeah, so... So that I'd come up and finish this. This was not meant to be three videos at all. But that's the way it goes sometimes. And especially when your phone cuts you off and tells you your iPhone is full. And I'm like, there's no way you're full. Really annoying. Did that to me once before. And my iPad as well. My iPad's been playing up lately and saying it's it's full and there's nothing on there. Previously, I had two games on there. I had um, AliExpress on there. I had other apps on there. And they've all disappeared. So I did. I deleted the last few to make space for something I did want on there. And it's saying it's full. And I'm like, how can my iPad be full when it's not even got anything on it? I don't know. I don't understand technology. I'm going to have to see if one of my friend's husbands can sort it out for me because it's acting silly and I don't like it. And I don't like my phone saying it's full because I'm like, I know you're not full. Right, I was going to do a bit of stamping in the background, wasn't I? But never mind. Might just use stickers instead. Now with this, I'm just wondering if this is going to come apart a bit, but we'll sort it if it does. Right, I need something to slide under there. Yeah, I think it is going to come apart a bit. Not massively, I just don't want people to confuse that they're sliding it in there when they're not. They're sliding it underneath. People, who's people? Who's going to even get it? Who's going to even see it? <laughs> Apart from me. Um, right, I need something to slide under there. I'm going to take this off. I'm boiling. I always sit in my dressing gown downstairs because I leave the cat, the door, the patio doors open for the cats. Because I'm a big softy and um, they can come and go. Trouble is, when I leave the door open, they don't come and go. They stay. One's curled up on a blanket on one sofa. One's curled up on a blanket on another sofa. And the other one's here at the side of me on the ottoman on my other dressing gown. So I leave the door open so they can come and go on the door. But you can guarantee as soon as I shut that door, 
do want to go out. Right, I've got nothing to put in here. <laughs> so I need to find something to put behind this little belly band. Um, what's that? Let's have a look in the tiny tags thing. Um, what have I got here? What's that? I don't know. I don't want that. I don't know. What have I got? What's that? Will that fit in there? Yes, it will. In that case, that'll do. I don't want that. That's too flowery for this project. I'm just trying to find things that are suitable. And I still don't know what I'm calling this thing. I've been calling it, I don't know, rustic, organic. I don't know what it is. It's just... It's just paper bag. <laughs> there we go. Got a belly band. Right, next page. Oh, this is the horrendous one with the tea bag glued down, but I put too much glue on. We've got a bit of that turquoise. Okay, so what we're gonna do here? This this ruffle would be really good, but have I got a thinner one? A thinner piece of paper. No, I wouldn't have, would I? That's nice because that's got some, I don't know if you can see it, shimmery stuff on it. It's a bit wide though. We'll make it thinner then. Gosh, what's wrong with you? Oh, I can't use that. It's too thick. Uh, we'll tear it then. Duh. In fact, just because you probably know it's going to run out at the before you get to the end. So just put a bit of glue there and attach. Which is the shiny side? That one. Attach that side to that side. And there you go. Let's make a little ruffle thing for, for down there that looks pretty horrendous. Okay. Get them strings out of the way. So, yeah, paper ruffle. What am I going to put down middle of here? Mm, I don't know. I'll have a look in my bits box and see if I've got anything uh, cool. You could even put, um, if you've got them, I don't have them, but you, I've got some stickles. I've got, well, I've got, I've got pearly doodles, but to be honest, some of them just, they don't dry. Some of them take three days to dry, and then when they've actually dried, they've gone flat. And they look like beautiful raised pearls when you're doing it, but then afterwards it's like, no, that's rubbish. Um, So I've got pearly doodles. I've got some, yeah, you could put pearly doodles down. You could put nouveau drops if you've got them, um, something like that down middle. Um, string, string. Oh, I've got some string somewhere on here. There it is. Yeah, string. Oh, I'd have to put a bead of glue down middle down. Well, I've got to do anyway, whatever I do. Oh, eyelash trim. No, that's a bit thick. Um, I've got some, let's just go with string because I've just thought, I've... oh, well, somewhere on this desk, there's a little, a little string bow. Can you see me? Yeah, you can. I couldn't see you then because I'm off a mossage. <laughs> a mossage? What's a mossage? Is it a bit like a sausage, but not quite? A message popped up, so I couldn't quite see. I put way too much glue on there. Should have started from that end, really. Yeah, let's. Let's just turn around and start from the end. That's the easiest. Oh, my goodness. It's all going wrong. Stop it. Right. Put them folds back in. And let's start from this end. Oh, look at that glue. It doesn't need to be that thick. Oh, dear me. This is going to be a tragedy, I can tell. Uh, nowhere to wipe my finger now. Okay. So I'm going to start, start at this end. Because this presses down, you see. Well, in theory, it does. Maybe not in practice, but... Oh, I'm getting all strung up with the stringy glue. Stringy. Blue, bluey string. Right, there we go. Stay there, stay there. Well, stay there, stop it. Behave yourself. My finger's stuck to that one now. <laughs> okay, now that one's stuck. <laughs> Whose idea were it to do this? Seriously? Don't do it again. 
There we go. Oh. Don't do that again, okay? <laughs> that was not fun. If you're going to glue something down, use something that's a bit thicker and so you don't get glue all over your fingers like I just have and that's not stuck down at the end. Come here. Oh, my days, and I've put the biggest blob of glue ever on. Gosh, what's going on with all messages? Loads of messages coming at the minute. Nobody messages me all day, and then as soon as I'm doing a video, it's like crazy. Right. Okay. Got lots of glue on there that I don't need. Oh, where's that gone? I appear to have lost some shellac. <laughs> oh well, I've only just noticed that. But anyway, I have been doing a bit of cleaning and washing up and stuff. Oh no, I've made it too long now. And I'm going to have to cut it off. Well, it don't matter. Just stick it down one minute, it don't matter. It's just covering this thing up here. This monstrosity of glue and mess. Where you stuck a tea bag down but took put way too much glue on there so you know I can have it hanging off a bit I don't mind a bit hanging off the end to be fair where's my other scissors I don't mind a bit like that hanging off there we go that's quite nice I like that right where's the little thing the thing there it is there it is I found it I found it a little thing you can go on there. Just just a bit of glue. Can you see me okay? Just a bit, just a bit. It's only a little string bow. Get that off it, whatever that is. Oh, come off. It's actually on me. Right, come on, string bow. There we go. Stick on there. There we go, that's cute. I like that. And I don't know if you can see, but it's got like sparkles. I used some um, cake decoration on there called Luster Dust. And I found that the last night, earlier, whenever I found it. Um, yeah, so, right. We've got, what's going to go on there? Journaling? Yeah, just journaling. This, oh my days, this. Oh, I could, be, I could have a bit of this on there, just to cover up that manky pocket, couldn't I? Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's cover up the manky pocket. It is a pocket, but it's manky. Okay, so I'm just going to use a bit of that and trim that off. Oh, what's happened here? Oh, whatever. You're getting cut off there anyway, so... There we go. Let's get you stuck down because you are actually a pocket. And um, what's going to go in the pocket? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we've got two ruffles. Ah, a silly sausage. I did that the other day with the tea bags. We've got two tea bag pockets next to each other. Now we've got two ruffles next to each other. Never mind doesn't matter um i need something to go in this pocket um oh gosh what have i got that's small um i don't know i really truly don't know this is what takes up half of the time i should really find things beforehand will that fit will it even come out Will it fit in the, in the pocket that I've probably now just glued down? But, yep, I think I have glued it down. Uh, no, it's obviously too wide. Um, well, I've got some smaller ones of them somewhere. Yeah, these are smaller. Just use some of these. Put some ink already kind of got black around the edge but there you go you can tuck in there ish and we want another one mm. 
Um, yeah, go on then. Why not? Why not? So I've done the ruffle duffle. Yeah, you can do all sorts on them ruffles. You can put lace down them. You can put um, ribbon, all sorts of things. I think I've just, I think I've just unstuck the very edge of the pocket. There we go. So that's another two pages done. Are we actually going to get it done on this video? I hope so. Uh, what can go on back of there? I think I just want um, something really easy and simple on there because it's only small. So I'm thinking, yeah, let's just go for one of them. I'm taking a really easy way out here, but you know, <laughs> sometimes you've just got to do that. Sorry, you can't even see what I'm doing. Um, I've just got these new stamp stickers. And they're very, very pretty and they look like they're inked around the edges. So I'm just going to stick one of them on there. Cheat! Cheat! I know. <laughs> but, they're, but they're so pretty. Right, next. This. Okay, I've got this. Um... This is really pretty. It's not going to fit all on though, is it? Or maybe it will if I cut it. Let me cut it there. And let me cut it there as close to the butterfly as I can get. Straight would be nice. Because that could be a pocket. Um, And it says butterfly notes. I don't mind the Chinese writing. I'm not bothered. It would look nice torn, but I don't want to risk tearing my butterfly and my thingy right ink everything's getting inked in black pretty much in this little we're only supposed to be a notebook it's turning out like a blooming journal isn't it <laughs> it was supposed to be a notebook and this is part three. Oh my goodness who knew it was going to take that long i literally thought i was going to do it all in one go but yeah, not really, Sue. Okay, so just have that down there. And because it says butterfly notes, wouldn't it be nice Ugh. if we had some notes? With a butterfly on. Can't pick it up. Right. I might do I put that on there? No, I'll put it on there. Okay, so we've got butterfly notes, which is a pocket. Down as close to the edge as I can get it, because I don't want it going off that corner. Right, we need something to put in there. Butterfly notes. Butterfly notes, butterfly notes. I just thought of something that's gone out of my head. Um well, I'm going to have one of these and it can have kind of sort of notes on it ish. Um, I need a piece of paper. Just do it on here. Oh, and you've done it right off the edge, you silly woman. Right, that'll do. Okay. So, butterfly notes. So, we've got notes. We just need a butterfly, eh? Yeah, you see. Um, where are my butterflies here? I need a smallish butterfly, don't I really? For this, gosh, I need a really small butterfly. Can you still see me? Yeah, good. I just do have to check now on that. Um, too big. We need a teeny one, a really teeny one. I don't know if there is any really teeny ones in here. Mm, not too big. Too big, too big, too big, too big. <laughs> I think they're all going to be too... Ooh, what are you? What are you? Mm, I don't know. You're a bit too samey colour. No, it's sort of our right size, but you didn't even show up. Um, oh, well, you're, you're all right. You're all right. Yeah, you can... Where's my thing gone? My blubber dobber. You can get ink around the edge and you'll show up. You'll show up because you're pink. Not that I wanted any. 
colours in here very much but it's okay it's only a little bit of colour so we'll have butterfly notes and a butterfly tag and we'll have actually some butterfly notes because I've just decided we're going to have some notes with butterflies on okay right there we go you can just pop on there and oh oh got space up there to put something anyway butterfly notes come on susan concentrate butterfly notes okay <coughs> we can have some notes and we can have butterflies oh i'm quite kind of glad i chose that one oh things are getting in my way again i did actually put everything out of my way it's back in again okay so we're gonna have a butterfly and a butterfly and guess what a butterfly and another just a bit of a butterfly there butterfly notes there you go actually oh we've actually done it butterfly notes on this thing <clears throat> I love these little script papers the thing is I love them so much I bought some and I bought some more 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 and I, yeah I think you get the gist <laughs> I've now got loads of them so because it's butterfly fly, fly, fly notes we'll just stick it in there it sticks out the top a bit but I'm not bothered and that can just um, sit like that. And there we go. Come on, come on, come on now. Next page. Ooh, what's happening on the next page? I have absolutely no idea. I think I'm going to have that um, bit of journal space that's disappeared um, on there. Because there's not many places to write in here right okay you go down there you're just going to stick on there and it's as simple as that really that's as simple as it gets <laughs> Where you come out, glue. Do you know, I'll actually be glad when this bottle of glue's finished. It's been a bit of a problem when there's this one. Okay, that smudges to the edge. I don't like it when it's too thin, but then I don't like the big blobs. But I know if it's too thin, sometimes it comes off. And I have honestly never seen anybody else that uses Fabri-Tac whose things come off. Maybe it does, I don't know. Maybe they're just not going to show us that anyway. That needs cleaning. Um, so that's done. We've got one page left. <laughs> one page! Okay, what we're going to do? What we're going to do? I don't know. I've got that sat there. Um, that could be a little pocket. Um, oh, I've got some fabric. I could have like a fabric swatch thing. Just some little bits of fabric. All kind of layered. Oh, I can't be bothered. It's bulky enough as it is, really. What have we got on here? Anything interesting? Oh, just a bit of cheesecloth. It's fallen down the side. Okay, what we're going to do? I don't know what we're going to do. I really don't know. I think I'd like to stamp. Oh, it's a bit big, isn't it? Oh, well, it's just going to be a decorative page, I think. Um, it really is a bit big, though. I have this, but we've just done a pocket like that. We've done a belly band with that. 
I'm a bit stuck now. I'm a bit stuck, I have to admit. Good grief. They're not opening today. I've got these. I kind of want to use some of these. Or at least one of these somewhere. Um, not really anywhere I can use it. Uh, no, okay. Oh, whatever. Um, right, what am I doing? I think I might have a piece of this. That's my page. A piece of this mesh. Not as doesn't have to be cut superbly. And I'm just gonna do a little collage on this page. I know. I know I'm wimping out, but <laughs> It's hard thinking of things to do. <laughs> Page, belly band, tuck spot, pocket. What else can you do? I, don't, I can't do anything else. Right. Mesh going down. Do, do, do. Mesh. Cheesecloth, because we just love a bit of cheesecloth. Going down. Oops. Don't need a lot of glue, just some little dots, really. Dot, dot, dot. Dash, dash, dash. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> that means I need help. <laughs> that means it's dot, dot. Is it dash, dash, dash? No, it's dot, dot, dot. Dash, dash, dash. Dot, dot, dot. In it, SOS. Right, I need a piece of paper. Um, yeah, I'm not right, but... <sighs> Are you? Or a piece of card. You'll do. I just kind of need to extract the um, thing from my finger. And I'm just going to um, ink this, hopefully, properly. It's very hard when you haven't got a stamping block thing on the back. Hopefully it's all inked all right. Uh, looks like it. Okay, press, 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 press. Hopefully it's okay. Yeah, not bad. It'll do because all I'm going to do is thin the scissors. Thin the scissors, please. And hurry up, Sue, because this is your last page and you need to hurry it up. Okay, I'm going to just cut this out. Close to, but not on the black. Okay, I love this flower. So pretty. He's so pretty. My little cat's asleep at the side of me. Oh, bless him. He's laid on a cushion. He's on the ottoman, on a cushion, on my dressing gown. Cosy. And I really need to go and close that door downstairs because when it starts getting a bit darkish outside, even though my back garden's secluded, I don't like um, I don't really like sitting with the door open. Um, this is very not how I want it to look, is it? It's not it's not this journal colours, uh-uh. But we shall rectify that in a second. So we're going to make it brownie. So if all you've got is white paper, never fear, because you can change the colour. And if you haven't got inks, you can still change the colour with pencils. That is so cute. I like that. Hey, I like that. That's nice. That's nice. I'd have a bit of stickles in the middle. Not stickles, this glitter glue stuff, but it might take forever in a day to dry, so I'm not going to do that. Um, this is going on here, because I think that will look rather... Ooh, ooh, hang on. Hang on. Hold your horses, Betty. Bessie, whoever. I think I want... I've kind of been going through this journal... And just, um, I don't know, 
gilding some things. Just a bit of this um, stuff on my finger. So instead of going around with ink, I'm going to go around with copper. And that looks pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that. And maybe just a little splodgeroonie in the middle. Can you see that? Let's bring it close. There we go. That looks so pretty now. <laughs> Something on my phone. Right, and I'm also going to just do that same thing and just put some. Oh. We've got kind of a bit of glueage going on there. I'm just going to rub some around the edges. I did this the other day, rubbing bits of this round and it looked really nice. I do love this stuff. I really do. That's why I purchased another two little boxes of them for different colours. Could even just put some touches on there. Just sort of, sort of actually undetectable because you've got the gold underneath but never mind right let's stick this fluor down and we're done can you believe it 52 hours no what is it three days 52 hours 45 minutes and 37 seconds <laughs> that is not how long it's taken by the way um but there we go it was a simple project, she said when she came on. It was a simple project. Just a short one. Oh, well, who knew is all I can say. There we go. Right, would you like a look through it from start to finish, seeing as we've finished? And let's hope the camera doesn't go off. Right, so we've added some of the copper accents. We've added it to the thingy. That's page oon. Page two has some stamping and a side pocket then we've got a pocket we've got a little tea bag thing hanging um fabric bed sheet fluffy stuff stamping and then we've got more of this um gilding around the edge it looks so cool i love that stuff i really i think i could use that on every project um just a little pocket with some tags a pocket well, it's like a belly band, but a low down belly band. I could put some gilding on that, I think I will do. A little pocket there with a handmade tag in. Um, just a stamped page. I've definitely got to put some on there. Two tea bag pocket pages, which were not meant to be together, but hey. Um, a little handmade doofer. Um, a corner pocket just made out of some more of the brown paper, stamped, little ticket thing on it uh, a little pocket made out of a dictionary definition and just some decoration drawn flowers on book pages again stamped but we're using up bits 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 of torn ticket bits of torn um what do you call them die cuts uh, a little pocket side pocket again bits of paper that's just a, a decorative page that you can draw on a little pocket Another side pocket with a bit of writing space, a belly band, which we've just done. Another writing space, a tiny pocket. Um, and obviously these we've just done. So, yay, it's finished. And all I'm going to do now is get some string and tie it closed. Yay, I might put one of them little circle things on so I can kind of wrap it round it. Or I might even just tie it with some of this fluffy stuff. That'll look nice. So there we go. Whew. Sigh of relief. The camera hasn't run out. So <laughs> we've finished. I'm just going to play and add a bit more of this copper look to it because I really like that. So thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry you've had to watch it over three days. <laughs> that was never the intention. But hey, it's all fun, isn't it? So that's a cute little thing. I've no idea what I'm going to do with it. But it's cute. I like it. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I will see you soon on the next project. See you soon. Bye.